we've introduced the side chart horizontal group, which allows you to synchronize vertically arranged charts. This ensures that zooming, panning, cursors, and tooltips are synchronized across the charts, and it also keeps axis sizes consistent. There's new documentation on how to synchronize multiple charts, so be sure to check it out. We've added data point width modes for column, error bar, and candle series. Previously, you could specify the percentage of space a data point occupied, but this caused issues when data was sparse or unevenly spaced. The new modes, absolute, range, and relative help solve this. Documentation includes examples that show how the modes work and how to apply them to your charts. Using the Render Transforms API, you can now apply multiple styles within a single series. For example, you have different colors, point markers, or line styles within the same line or column series. The React chart with multiple styles demo shows how to use this feature, and the documentation for Render Data Transforms provides more examples to help you get started. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to explore more SciChart JS 3.4 updates, optimizing performance and customization for your charts.